some of the the uh, milling about um, peasants start to say, well, I guess we should head off to Tom's place. We're going to time to start anew. And they all start to move back in through the forest and kind of they stop crying and pick up their things and start to walk off. Uh, I, I hold up my finger and I say, ho there, Tom's place. Tell me about Tom. Oh, Tom, Tom's a, he's, he's just the mayor of a city that is based just uh, down the street. It's just a, it's a smaller city. city state. Ah. Thank you, good sir or ma'am. Uh, I, I'm a woman. <laughs> ah, mm, You'll notice um, it's hard mm, to tell, though. She's it, it, it was a term of respect. Mm. I, oh. While they're having this conversation, I'd like to walk over to Fawn. She's still a goat? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I kneel down next to Fawn, kind of like scratch her behind <laughs> the ear and go, All right, Fawn, this guy tried to set us on fire. Are you really okay with him being here? All right, I'm going to take that as you'd rather he die. Got it. Uh, I, I walk over to Ur and I say, Ur left. Ur walked Ur. away with the pug like 20 minutes ago. I can't I didn't walk, walk anywhere. Yeah, no, I walk to over to where Ur is. Test real quick, by the way, to see if you've been pooping in indiscriminately Who? while this conversation is going. Jen, Fawn. Oh, okay. Me? Why would I be pooping? Because you're a goat. Goats poop all the time. Okay, Take a, okay. I'm not going to just say that you poop. We need to see if you actually do. So, so on a I success, do like deep six plus constitution? Yes. Does but a success mean that she does poop? It's up to her. So, uh, a success do you, do you want to poop, or would you like to be more dignant and not poop? What do, what do you I want? will not poop. Okay, so on a success, you're not pooping, then. Overlay yeah. for pooping railing dice. So, minus yeah, one. Okay, plus one. Eight. Uh, partial. So, <laughs> I you fart. can feel the need. Yeah, actually, <laughs> that's fine. That's exactly right. You, uh, you don't want to poop. You feel the need to because you're a goat. But as Neil kneels down and asks you this question... <laughs> A goatish fart comes out of you uh, in reply, and because you didn't want to poop, you look kind of ashamed as a goat. You, like, like I take the farting eyes. noise as the, well, she doesn't want, you know, she feels the same way about this sylph guy. So as he turns his back to start trying to catch up with Ur, who's got a pretty lengthy head start on him, I would like to um, just stand there and wait until he's far enough away from me that I can fireball him without hitting myself. If I see him trying to cast Fireball, I'm going to try to interrupt the spell casting. Uh, as, as, as I'm walking away with Ur, I say, Ur, nous devons le tuer. <laughs> I Fireball him. <laughs> if he All is. right. I, I try to interrupt. Hang on. I can see it. It's been, uh, no, actually, we, how about, we started at roughly six. Should we just call it an hour at seven then and just do three hours of that? Uh, yeah, since we have to stop oh, at yeah. six, well, my time, nine, your time is what I meant. Yeah, that's uh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, so cast fireball. Okay, and I'm gonna be harsher about this. Uh, it, apparently, if you fail, well, you get to choose, I think it is, but one of the options is you forget the spell. Yeah, I saw that's JP on a partial it. success, but on a failure, the GM gets to make a hard move, whatever okay. you want. Okay, partial, oh. you choose, fail. I I'd choose. like to say that. He actually warned me he wanted to kill him, so I'm even more aware that he might be doing something crazy. So you're going to try to interrupt him, right? Yeah. I think um, I just need to move him while he's casting it. So. Well, I, I think you would make an attack against him, right? But you can make that attack against any one of your characteristics, and you can describe it narratively however you want. So she gets to make her attack against me before I get make, it, make my attack against Sylph? How's that work, Steven? Man, this is tough, guys. <laughs> Let me think, how would I run this? So character A wants to throw a fireball. Uh, character B wants to interfere. So yeah, actually it's it's legitimately that um, Fawn is trying to interfere. So she's rolling yeah. plus her bond with you. And so Fawn, you just get to sort of describe how you're trying to interfere and you're rolling plus one, I think, because you have one bond with Finkel. Oh, okay. okay, I'm trying to push him like to the ground. Trying to ram him. Right. Yeah, trying to ram him. Okay. Oh, wait, are you still a ram? Yeah. She's a goat. Could you yeah. just use your move in order to ram and spend a hold? Sure. I I think think but how come that goes off before my ability? Like, if she said she wants to ram me and I said, no, 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 I want to fireball her first, uh, like, is it that would, top of the stack base, sort of thing? So the way I would sort of adju adjudicate that is that she automatically succeeds at interfering with you, which means you get a minus two, and that's all it is. Yeah, that sounds fair. She just auto-succeeds interfering? 
Because she spends one hold in order to use a ramp. Uh, it's her final hold, if I'm not mistaken. She had three. Is it my last yeah. one? And she'll turn back into a human. Yeah, I think it is. It's my last one? Or do I have one more? I, I know you used one, one to take I some agree, damage. I used yeah. one. You used one to ram somebody, and then yeah. you used one to push Finkelmer over. So now yep. you're on your last hold. Okay, so I push him, and then I turn into a human. Yep, yep. on top. Of him, okay, perhaps. so that takes... I get a minus two to my roll. Yeah. So it's actually just a flat 2d6 now. All right, here we go. Eight. Oh, Our my son. God. How did you do that? Okay, so I'm <laughs> going to try to defy danger. Well, uh, hang on, because his is that he now... What is your option for that partial? You get to choose from. It's you like you draw, draw unwelcome, unwelcome attention. attention. Uh, the spell disturbs the fabric of reality, and I take a minus one ongoing to cast spells until I prepare my spells next, or I forget it. And I'm going to go ahead and say I draw unwelcome attention because mm, it is okay. a fireball. You damn right you do. So he throws this gigantic hurling ball of flame at the backside of the bard who's next to Ur, by the way. Yeah. yeah. So eh, I try. Heard... I mean, if I'm possible, I'm going to try and have it explode a little bit before him. If not, if she gets caught in the fire, well, I don't uh, know how he caught up to her so, so quickly. I noticed that, right? I would like to immediately dodge to the ground and try to find like a little divot that I can press my body into to avoid the flame. Going to try to avoid danger? Go for it. All right. Is that your dexterity, you would say? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. Very oh, successful. So he immediately hits the deck, rolls, and the flame goes completely over him through the forest, colliding with the cluster of trees and blowing them up. How does he or defy this... danger? His back was to me. I, I dove to the ground. But how did you see it coming? You did uh, the it... drag attention, whatever, no? Is yeah. it possible yeah, at all? Yeah, true. well, that's true. true. Maybe yeah, it, it doesn't away. travel like a bullet. It, it, it's a big, hurling, fast-moving thing, but I would say because it, you drew unwanted attention, he had a chance to react, and because all it was right. a, uh, yeah, a complete sense. success, he dives onto the ground. It's totally fine. Fair enough, fair enough. So the fire explodes in front of you guys. Both Ur and uh, Sylph are completely fine. What do you guys now do? I send my cougar to attack. Uh, I, I immediately take my backpack off and I open the sack and I say, Mr. Nacious, are you all right? <laughs> what the devil was that? It's the dragon back. Uh, yes, it's the, uh, mm. well, we have a little bit of a problem with an evil dragon wizard. So stay in the bag here. And I like, <laughs> I make sure he's in, I make sure he's in the divot in the ground. And then I like spring up and draw my rapier and I say, what ho? And I go charging across the grass. Yeah, I uh, turn around and I'm like super upset, and I, and I'm like, Rawr! attack! All right, Finkelmer, oh, you've got a cougar charging after you. There's a man with a rapier that was uh, talking to a pug dog just moments before. Uh, what do you do? I throw another fireball at them before they get to me. Uh, and this time, I have no compo uh, no problems hitting anyone who's in the AOE. Well, well let me ask you I'm this though: the right cougar... next to you right now, so you can't. Attacking me, I would think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, attacking you. Attack but... him. The cougar is separated from the pack. I would say uh, Fawn, or not Fawn, Ur and Sylph are kind of close together, but the cougar is well ahead of them because it's much quicker and it was sent before. So what is your target then if you're going to try oh, to Oh, my, my target is Sylph then. Okay. Yeah, Sylph is a danger to me. I would tell you then that with this attack, uh, because you're ignoring the cougar, it will get a free attack against you then. Okay. And I will attack him as well, as I see him pass. <laughs> you do I'm realize sorry. he tried to kill you, right? He tried I'm to kill you. I'm That's... targeting his hand. I'm trying to stop him from spell casting, so I'm going to take my spear. And, and this I'm is why women to... date assholes, guys. I'm going to try to, like, decapitate his hand. Not him, though. You're going to try to chop his hand off. Okay. Um... With my spear, like, spear through hand kind of thing. Like, so you're making an attack assume... as well. Wait. Well, I guess I don't know if you won't be able to cast without like his hand. I would tell you here's what here's what it is because it sounds like you're also cold trying to interrupt shot. him, but you're also yeah. trying to hurt him. No, cold shot yeah. doesn't really have any function here. Yeah. Um, so I would have you roll on a success. You do interrupt him and you do damage. On a partial, I'll give you choices. And on a fail, mm. Neil attacks first or uh, Finkelmer, okay. and you and you miss. You you don't get your attack. Obviously. Okay, so two d six plus your attack. Wait, so. so uh, a, a successful hack and slash automatically interferes. No, okay. she's it's a it's a called attack. So the okay. options will be interesting, but 
If she succeeds, she does interrupt you and does damage. Do you want me to do 2d6 plus... Your strength, because you're My attacking strength? through spear. Plus one? Am your I always attacking at just plus one? Yeah, probably, if it's your strength. Uh, you know, Jeff, interestingly, you might give uh, Finkelmer a chance to defy the danger from the damage he took to resist the interrupt effect, for example. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so seven. Well, hmm. uh, so it's a partial. Yeah. So I will say you make an attack at him trying to hurt him, but also stop him from casting this fireball. Yeah. Uh, but in the haste of the situation, because so many things are happening at once, you basically... You can either put, you can either partially disrupt his spell because he's aware of you at this point in time and is is uh, he's like using one hand to try to stop you from stopping him. So you'll put him at a minus one, or you can just do damage to him and you won't disrupt him at all. Ah, uh, disrupt. Okay, so she takes your spear, uh, stabs it at you with your one hand. You kind of push it away. Uh, but using your one hand to push it away, it kind of confuses the spell a little bit. So you're at minus one for your spell, but go ahead. Hmm. Okay, so that's 2d6 plus 2. Minus 1 is 2d6 plus 1. Cast and fireball itself. Here we go. 11. You never fail. I don't understand <laughs> this. You never <laughs> fail. With... I failed once. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, blocking the spear with one hand, throwing the fireball with the other. He hurls it at Sylph. Sylph. What do you do? God, you know, I'd love to be able to do something other than dodge, but fact of the matter is that's 2d6 damage coming my way. So I could kill you. Yep. So uh, if you dodge, can you... Hmm. I'm just trying to figure... No, never mind. Go, go ahead. Continue. Sorry. All right. So here's what I do. Uh, as I do a cartwheel into a handstand springboard backflip over the fireball as it passes me, uh, mm -hmm. I shout to um, I shout to uh, God. What's her name? I shout to Ur, and I, I I chant a poem that goes something like, uh, <laughs> I guess it's not a poem. It's just kind of a it's a, it's a cone. It's uh, dead men cast no fireballs, and uh, yes. <laughs> I'd like to I'd like to land on my on my feet and then like burst into song as soon as I land. So uh, here's my defy danger. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Does a failure on defy danger do make things worse for you? No, no. I think it just means that I completely failed to uh, defy the danger. So, so Sylph begins to do this gymnastic routine while singing a song, but trips. <laughs> Over Pugnacious falls flat on his face and takes the fireball to the chest. Oh. It does nine damage. It, it is AoE. Uh, yeah. It, it, how, it how does is Pugnacious fare? Well, he's probably completely gone. Uh, it does nine damage to everyone, oh, right? I was running towards him and I had placed Pugnacious down in the divot. Okay. All right. So you don't trip over Pugnacious and it doesn't hit Pugnacious. You're also, since you are running towards him, you're not near Ur, I guess, right? Uh, I thought that Ur and I were running closely together, so maybe... I thought it, they were charging that's together. A, what yeah. about the cougar? So no, my the, cougar was attacking. I was not... I really that, that, that ignores was armor. Yeah. That ignores armor? Yeah. Excellent. I, <laughs> well, what are you cougar, at, then, uh, Sylph? Wait, is my cougar attacking at some point? Guys, I already told you, if this fireball hit him, your cougar would get a free attack, so give it a second. Uh, if it is I'm trying to understand what happened to you two right now because I don't know how much health Sylph or you have. Okay. So what I does have 18 nine health? Have? I have total? nine health now, so that was half my life. Bloom. Okay. So Sylph gets blasted aside and is covered in, in fire. Uh, er, how much health did you have? I would have ran to the pug, for sure. Mm. My character would have ran to the pug and grabbed them and ran away with them while my cougar is attacking. Okay. I would have not. I ran towards the uh, Finkelmer. Okay, then you took no damage, and now but, uh, do your attacks for your cougar against. Okay, so I'm not sure how this works. Hold on. Um, in the male companion, when I attack, uh, I just do a regular attack. Is that how it works? When you attack, defenses are surprisingly at range. That's the cold shot. Uh, 
Do you know how it works? Uh... So, I think that technically, according to the rules, uh, you can only attack the same target as your animal companion, and then you add its ferocity to your damage. But if Jeff wants to let you make a free oh. attack with the animal companion, oh, then I guess I... it's up to Jeff how he wants to run the animal companion's attack separate from you. Let's okay. just do it differently in the future, because I didn't know that's how it functioned. But for right now, we can say it does go attack or whatever. Or, you know, for example, instead of picking up the pug, you could fire off an arrow and say that your cougar is helping you at that same time. Something like that. Okay, let's do that. But I'm staying on spot, I guess. Well, I'm not going to be in the same... Like, I'm, I'm going to move away from you, because I know mm -hmm. it's probably targeting... You. I uh, I'm gonna... I won't let you pick up Pugnacious, run away, yeah, and shoot no, no. an arrow at I'm the not same gonna, time. I'm not going to pick up Pugnacious if I'm doing that. Okay. Pugnacious. But this will be my next my next step, though, with this one, though. Okay, so I add... Mm -hmm. Okay. So I do a regular attack, which is 2d6. Plus your dexterity. Plus my dex, which is plus two. Plus my ferocity, which is a plus two. No, the ferocity is to your damage. Ooh, to the damage. All right. Boom! Oh, oh. Yeah. All right, oh. damage. As, as uh, Finkelmer throws oh, his ball of flame, takes an arrow in the chest as well. So you do uh, D8 damage plus your animal companion's ferocity. Well, thank right. God I've got armor three. I take two damage. Shit. God. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Arrow lodges itself in Finkelmer's shoulder. Finkelmer, you've been stabbed at with the spear. The cougar has swiped at you at the same time as an arrow striking you. Uh, and picking him, himself up off the ground is a very, very burnt-up Sylph. What do you guys do? I throw another fireball at Sylph. Should another we... at Sylph? Oh, fuck Should yeah! He tried to kill me! This is revenge. This is, this is saving right. myself and saving the party from his dastardly so, evil ways. At the same time, I would like to sing a song. At the same time, I would like to interrupt... <laughs> All right, we'll just do another round of this. So uh, since you are trying to interrupt, Jen, you can uh, do your attack roll. Hold on, we'll I've been you. reading the rules here. I've been reading the rules. <laughs> and okay. it looks like there's two abilities. There's a hack and slash ability, and there's a separate aid or interfere ability. And yeah. it seems like hack and slash will deal damage to someone, and interfere, which is a completely separate ability, can screw with yeah. someone. It sounds like her attack is an amalgamation of the two, which is a super attack. Okay. No, if she can do that, it. I want to do a double fi double fireball. <laughs> no, like your point is where, very well received. She can either attack or she can interrupt. She yeah, can interrupt. I'm interfering. Okay. So, d6 plus what? 2d6. 2d6. Always 2d6. Plus 2D6. 1. Plus one, six, six. Yeah. Fail. Ah. So, this do you is know interesting. What, do you know what yeah. that means when you're no. trying to interfere? It means that you are also, you put yourself in danger as a result of trying okay. to interfere. Oh, but I didn't, it said that? So oh, here's yeah. what happens. Uh, oh, I didn't know. Shit. On but a second time, you also expose yourself. You still would have done it, Jen, even if you knew. Oh. Come on. Oh, she's not getting out of this. No, I'm, I'm a Actually, fair, on a I'm five, a fair it's, but critical. It's actually even worse. Uh, Jeff, you can make a hard move. Which means, like, all of those yeah, GM yeah. moves, like, whatever you want to do to us, like, drop a dragon on us. You have complete, moves. complete freedom to do that. Oh, Where hang are on. hard moves? Ah, Jeff. Let me, let me, let's see. I can find you a list of these really quick. Hang I on. have a list right here in front of me. but No, uh, not in the... Uh, Oh, 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 okay. Hang on. Uh, go to page. Go to page twenty-five of the 25. PDF. Monsters. No, just above that in the center, it says moves. Oh, there it is. Moves. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you can do anything there. You can use up resources. You can turn somebody's move back on them. You can separate them, etc. Anything. You have carte blanche to like make whatever happen. Of all you. these under the moves category, right? Use yeah. up resources. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, okay, so here's what I'll say then. Uh, um, God, for some reason, these names elude me, and we've been saying the same. Um. Anyways, Fawn, in an attempt to interfere, 
throws her, uh, uses her spear to stab at your hand again, but all she ends up doing is putting the spear in front of your fireball that comes out, and your spear explodes into sh and just shatters into pieces. You are now that's a great spear. hard move. That's using up resources like a mad dog. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, no Excellent. Fireball so the spear explodes. Uh, see if the spear or the fireball comes out. By the way. So as this fireball is rushing towards me, well, well, let's, we'll see. let's see if it comes out. Should, should I roll my two d six plus two? Yep. Seven partial. It's a partial, so you get to choose again. Um, I keep doing unwanted attention. But I would that's say you can't do it again. <laughs> yeah, you already have unwanted. The spell attention. disturbs the fabric of reality as it's cast. Take minus one ongoing to cast a spell until the next time you prepare a spell. So minus one to all spell casting until I rest and sleep and shit. Yep. There you go. Another way to do more unwanted attention is to have NPCs notice the fight and come in against him. For I example. already plan on that, but it's been very. The, yeah, the yeah. unwanted attention is already taking shape. Like so, this this fireball is rushing towards me, and I'm singing. Yeah. Friendship means not throwing fireballs at the people you call your friends. Er, would you please kill Finkelmer? He's really not one of our friends. Thank God she doesn't understand you. <laughs> I'm saying it in French. <laughs> you don't speak animal. Les oiseaux chantent dans les arbres. <laughs> Come, les amis, que Finkelmerg ne. I'm making shit up now, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a very specific group of people that find you very funny right now. Yep, yep. It's a show of French people who understand French. They're like, oh my god, Stu's French is hilarious. And so, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to do a performance, obviously. Uh, and at that time, I'm trying to, um, ah, oh, damn it. God, this sucks. Are any of you hurt other than yes, Finkelmer? I am. Okay, then, uh, Ur, you get plus 1d8 damage healed, and you get plus 1d4 damage on your next attack. So, uh, wait, here's, here's, that? here's my, uh, thing. Oh, I failed. Ooh. So I guess I just took a fireball to the face in the middle of the yeah. song, and it was kind of like, ah! I like the picture, though. I like your... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roll for damage. Right. 2d6. Roll for damage. Jesus Christ. Six. Oh. So once again, Sylph is hurled to the ground. This time it looks like he's hanging on by the edge of his life. Should have been 15 damage. Are you still alive, Sylph? Yeah. I got three. Got three left. Bring it, son. What? <laughs> All right, uh, Fawn, or not Fawn, excuse me, uh, Ur, what are you doing? Um, let me just double check that I think I'm going to attack again. I would like to defy danger, then. Of course. Oh, I've gotten two XP. So he was oh, able yeah. to throw, a, oh yeah, I guess so. He's able to yep. throw a fireball and defy danger? Nope. Um, I would like, work, Steven? I would like to, uh, oh, totally up to you, Jeff. I want to do something too, oh. by the way. I would say, uh, here's what I'll do for this one. I'll, I'll make a hard judgment next time, but I'm going to have you guys roll off for it. So 2d6, if Jen, or excuse me, if, if uh, Stephanie wins, she does get the attack. You don't get to defy danger. Mm -hmm. uh, if Neil wins, you get to try to defy danger. Okay. All right. Boom. There you go. No yeah. defying this time. No defying danger. All right. So I'm trying to do something as well. Just well, you already did some, so hang on. Okay. We can burn more of your items in a second. Okay. <laughs> okay, so my roll. I'm doing I'm asking my cougar to attack again. Yep. I take out my bow again. Uh, it was two D six plus two. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr, attack. And then two D six plus two. Oh. Partial. Partial. So what I would tell you is that um, you have oh, the choice, she choice of... for this one. Oh, she chooses? Yeah. It's like lose ammo or okay. move or whatever. Oh. He was lose ammo. Wait. So I can either do lose ammo. Oh, shit. I don't have the options. Is it you it's on your, have it's... to move to get the shot placing you in danger? Or you get to take uh, minus d6 damage, or you lose ammo? Yep. Okay. Uh, page weird. one of the Dungeon World character sheets PDF. 
Yeah. I'll just put this in chat in Page case you guys don't have I it. have it. Oh, volley. Yeah. Oh, it's called volley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you take a shot and then range. Okay. I guess yeah. Um. I guess I'm and ammo. We can buy ammo, right? It's not like a. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you had money. Okay. I'm gonna use ammo. Okay, so this arrow will be lost forever. And as you're firing this, because of the blazing inferno that's starting to create around you, two of your arrows drop out of your bag to be lost. Mm. I only had one left, so... Not even... So the last one drops out, then. Okay. So next time I'll have to take damage. That's what it means, right? Yeah. Okay, um... All right. But your shot goes off. Cool. Attacking. Right? Is that my choice, or is that... No, yeah, it goes off. Yep. Yeah, it goes off. Eight, a plus two. I just noticed every action that I make, I could add plus whatever my animal has. Yeah. And we didn't do that last time for when I did the questions, the <laughs> discern realities. But anyway, next time we know. Okay, rolling for damage. Rawr. Seven. Seven. So you take four damage. Uh, yes, I take four damage. What are you down to now? Eight. Oh, All damn, right. you don't have much health. I get back up. <laughs> so another arrow lodges itself in the same area of the shoulder of Finkelmer. Finkelmer grunts as it pads his body. Okay. Uh, I shout to Fawn, Fawn, what the fuck? This guy tried to kill us. I'm saving us. And then I telepathy to Ur. You do realize he tried to burn you and your cougar and me and Fawn all alive. I don't know why the hell you're attacking me. I'm trying to save the party here. This man is a psychotic killer who will turn on us in an instant. What the fuck are you attacking me for? I haven't caused you any harm. And in fact, I've been the only other person other than Fawn to talk to you in your entire and life. And I get up. Fawn, okay, hang on. He hang. taught you what a penis is. Or no, that was Ur. Excuse me. So I get up and I stand there. My clothes on fire. My like <laughs> blood dripping down my face, and my like like hair is singed, and I'm smoking, and I raise my rapier and I point at him, and this I. It's not say, a time to be smoking, dude. Put that I, away. And I say, Finkelmer a mafia, and I charge. No. Nope. All right, he comes, Dad. He comes out. running at you. Um. Can I, can I uh, do something? Yeah, go I, for it, Fawn. I turn into a bear. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, I'd like to magic missile him. Well, hang on. Let's do this. Uh, so roll, into... for your, roll for your bear roll. Bear, my bear roll. Do you have to roll for that or do you just turn into an animal? Yeah, she rolls plus roll her wisdom. For okay, go okay. for it. That determines how much hold she gets. Uh, 2d6 plus 2. 8. So two holds, I think. Yeah, no, why would I ever magic missile? I fireball again. And then, can I make a move as a bear? Uh, that's, your, that's your move, is you turn into a bear. Okay. Damn, I, you're so weak. I, I, I want to the fireball wizard. sylph again. <laughs> yeah, magic missile like fucking... or fireball. Fireball. Yeah, I'm magic like, missile is stupid. All right. So uh, am I... Fireball seems pretty stupid. If I'm charging him, if I'm charging him, Jeff, am I hacking and slashing before the fireball or what? Well, how, the question is, how far away did Ur get yeah. before Sylph started caught up to him? How far away do you think you were? Well, I did eat two fireballs as I was running to him. So no, I one of them, like no, 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 one of them close. hit you before you started to run. That's true. The other one, you tripped and fell on your face while you're coming to get to me. If anything, you should be pretty, you know, not have made much distance. No way. I dodged the first one. I ate the second one. You and dodged the, the other one by lying in a ditch on the ground. <laughs> then you have to get back to your feet. Then you start running. Then you trip over yourself and, and fall I on was your face while I ate two fireballs. But, but uh, Jeff. Like he's getting shot. Then you stood right? there. Cancel then you stood the in place to sing a song to Ur. I wasn't not standing in place. You were running and singing. Absolutely. Okay. Haven't you seen an MTV? <laughs> no, I don't watch MTV. This <laughs> is running for it. Um, I would say we did, we should have been a little bit clearer about how far away were. You talk about running to Ur. Ur was okay. Ur I had walked roughly, away. Ur had it, walked away a while ago. Here's my question for you, Jeff. Okay. I look at him, I point at him, I say, Neil A. Mafia, and I, I calculate, can I reach him with a charge and attack? And then if you tell me no, then what I say is, okay, I start juking and running towards him to avoid whatever he throws my way so that I can get ah. close to him so that then I can attack him. I would say 
what's most realistic is that you would be able to juke while yeah. running to him and attack next turn as opposed okay. to getting attack while you charge. So then I start running towards him. I'm dodging whatever he's throwing my way. Okay. So Neil, there's a gymnastic bard coming towards you. Okay, uh, I only get a plus bear, one to my right? roll. <laughs> yeah, but I'm yelling at you as the bear, but like, what the fuck? He's trying to kill us. He's tried to kill us before. Why are you helping yeah, yeah, him? But I, I'm behind you anyway, so you That's probably fine. don't even know I'm a bear. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, go for it. All right, two uh, d six plus one, three. My first fail. Oh, 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 oh. I gain an experience point. Neil, finally, twinkles his fingers or not? Neil, excuse me, Finkelberg looking to cast the spell and realizes he doesn't remember how to cast Fireball. It is awesome. gone forever. <sighs> All right. Thank God, finally! It only took five hours. <laughs> then I, I stop juking and I just straight up charge him. Okay. As I see him charging, I'm still trying to do what was my plan, which was to well, basically- hang on. We still have uh, Ur, who hasn't got an action in this round yet. Uh, I- so I know that he failed his fireball. Like, this is obvious. He's looking at his hands right now like, what the hell? There's a bear behind him <laughs> and a guy holding a sword running at him. I what? rush to uh, something Licious Dog, per whatever his Pugnacious? name is. Pugnacious? <laughs> yeah, this guy. <laughs> You're rushing to Pugnacious right now? Yes. Pugnacious. That's what I'm doing right now because I'm a, I'm a nature person. Okay. Animals are more important than humans. You reach him, he's breathing deeper than usual. <laughs> it's a bag, right? So I can put it on my back? He is in the bag, but he seems... It's shaking. He's quite scared. All right. So I told the... I told the... Panacious, Panacious this is... Er, I got you. And then I put it on the... On my back. You speak dog. Great. Yep. yep. All right. All right. Now it's the next right. round. Neil... Uh, I'm going to give you first action since you just forgot your spell. There's a bear behind you. You don't know that, though, I guess. And a man with a sword running at you. I fucking cast invisibility on myself. Okay. As he does that, I'm still trying to go with my plan, which was to do, like, Snorlax and do a, like, slam belly flop to get him under Nick to me. Well, and it is one to... of my bear abilities. You're going to because... lay on me? Yeah. Again? That was oh. a cougar. Oh, 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 oh man. Yes. That as a hardy beast, I can like trample you, but I'm pretty sure I can belly flop you. Jeff, I'd like to suggest that one of the moves Jen has as a bear is in fact bear hug. Absolutely. Yes. So if you'd like, Jen, maybe you could just spend a hold in order to bear hug. Yeah, I'm going for the bear hug to the ground. I would like to invisible, invisible, bear hug. invisible underneath me. Uh, her hold is just an auto, like it just yeah. automatically happens. So she just grabs does. you. Okay. You can still cast your spell. It's not like that dispels your spell, but you know, go for it. So you're underneath, right? So she just like to the no, ground. To, I want no, to no, be no. like a Snorlax on the ground. No, like, no, 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 no. Because that would that's that's again trying to combine things where you're like. But my only but goal hurting. was my goal oh, was you, not to stop him from being invisible. It's just to get him to the ground underneath me. Then you won't be able to use a hold for that. He'll be able to defy danger if you want to do that. Sure, I'm not using a hold. Make me roll. Okay, so she tries to pin you to the ground, uh, Finkelmer. You can defy danger, or you can cast a spell. Wait, her but... other choice was just to hug him, and then he would have been trapped in the hug, and yeah. she it would have been 100% sure certain? Yep. It's a good choice. Yeah, it's weird, Jen, but... It's okay, so... she made but the wrong choice. That's what my character wanted to do, and then you guys are like, making me do different things. No, I, yeah, let Jen be Jen. All right. I'm with you, Jen. So we're choice. learning, Jen, so that's I know. why like, are I, you sure I you want to do that? I understand it's a better call, but in my head, I had envisioned the Snorlax sleeping... So true. Snorlax time. Let's go. I want to do it. Okay. What, so, Neil, roll to... I guess you I, don't want to defy danger. You no, can I, I want to spell. defy danger. I want to try and get out of the way. So, can R2D6. Can defy danger and cast invisibility? Uh, no, he only gets to defy danger or cast invisibility. Can't do both. Oh, I see. Oh, I would like to you ca uh, not defy danger and cast invisibility instead. Some people are saying you forgot invisibility at the starting of the dive, and that's why you fireballed. I forgot invisibility at the start of the tavern. That's why you fireballed in the tavern, and that's why everything went to shit. I failed. I don't remember. Did I forget it, or did I just fail it? Like, yeah, I can't remember to forget it when you fail. Yeah, there's like okay. 
There's like 20 people saying that. Chat. Well, then. In Thanks, that chat. case. Um, I would like to get off a of magic. Uh, no shit. I, don't, I only think I only have three spells. I don't. No, you relax. cast a spell, you'll relax. No, relax. No, relax. I have to relax. Um, no. You know what? I, um, shit. Out of spells. Out of spells. Um, I'd like to charm person on on the bear. He's not what? a person. Can you charm a bear? <laughs> uh, no, it's not a beast or monster, but he's still a person inside. He's The physical no. shape is still... Oh. I would tell you it's a bear right now. It's a bear? It like can't earlier, communicate. It was... He has, yeah, it's a bear. can't communicate, but he can, he can hear me. He can understand me. It's like... Person spirit me. is in there. It, it's but it's not a person. It's a bear. Anatomically, it's a bear. That's, okay, so the spell will not work on because of the anatomy. Right. And well, I'm... shit. I'm gonna defy danger then. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven success. You never fail. You never fucking. I failed fail. earlier. What? Apparently, Fear... I failed my invisibility too. The bear gets the bright idea to try to sandwich you, so it starts to fall forward. You roll out of the way, and the bear falls on its face, and yeah. is now going to lose its next action. Mm. I, I telepathy to Ur. Ur, they're trying to kill me. Help me, Ur. All right. Did you I... try to kill me too? No, I you didn't. Shot the fireball. No, it was at Sylph. But I was right next to him, and you didn't care. I tried to. No, I cared. He got there. I threw Why the fireball too soon. Him? I, I sing a back. song. I didn't know about the dog. He tried to kill me. He tried to kill. He set the house we were on in fire. He were in a house and he set it on fire. How are you on his side? How are you on his side? I'm on nobody's side. You then stop I, shooting me and help me. Uh, you know what, Jeff? Er, Jeff, this is what happens. Please, er. I pause, like er. as I'm right next to uh, Finkelmer. And I put my hand on my groin, okay. and I grab, and I pull, and my pants come flying off. And you hear this. Yeah, that's what you hear as I start singing an inspiring okay, song. I take out my bow and I look at the, hey, at the hey, bard. Hey, hey. And and. Hey. And Ur feels this surge of power come over her, and she knows she's going to do extra damage when she attacks. But I'm looking at you. Do it, Ur! He tried to kill us! All right. He tried you, to kill us! Ur, you get healed for one die eight hit points. So you regain eight hit points. Ur, I'd like you to take note of how many hit points I can help you regain. Don't be fooled! Just Look! One person? Uh, Don't be fooled! Just just one person. He tried to okay. kill you, and now he's trying to be nice to you to make up for it. He's a murderer. He's a psychotic person. And Ur, your next arrow will be so strong. He has no more arrows. You don't actually spend arrows per attack unless yeah, you just... unless you choose to spend ammo. Yeah, the so, wait, ammo are is you, against the... Are party. you literally out of ammo, Ur? The three ammo that I have that yeah. can help me out of the thing? Yes. Because Jeff made me lose the... Last one I got, I had. Ah, uh, you only had three ammo. Yeah. Uh, bummer. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, okay. <laughs> I, so I can't even fire. I thought it was just a way to get out of stuff, and it was just like a fake currency. No, when you have zero ammo, you're out of ammo. It's, it's Thanks, true. Jeff. That's <laughs> awesome. You basically made me useless. You sure yeah. have a sword. I have no I spear. Think. She has no arrows. Neil has no spells. I have spells. I have no hit points. I don't know yeah, me. um, Stephanie, have you have spear. you have either a short sword or a spear, yeah. as well as your arrows. Mm -hmm. Which you can still attack with, by the way. Save yeah. me, Ur. Oh my god. Can we go on break? <laughs> <laughs> Err, save me! All right. I say we go on break. The rushing waters. And Take a break now, guys, and when we come back, we'll see whether or not <laughs> Neil is dead. So Err! Err! All right. As the bear rises again. Aide-moi, <laughs> oh, mon dieu! Au secours! Au secours! <laughs>